Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day. As you guys may or may not know, I am a bit of a lipstick junkie. I polled you guys over on Instagram because I'm super active over on Instagram with our little community over there where we just hit 20k the other week. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a uh, you know top five nude lipsticks swatched on my skin. I'm like an NC 20 to 25, sometimes 30 if I'm pushing the fake tan a little bit extra. But before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you enjoy these kind of videos, it really helps me out and it would mean so much. All right, let's go. So we're talking about the little MAC bullets today. They have so many different finishes. They've got cream sheens, matte, satins, amplified. Don't even know what some of them are. I'm pretty sure they have like a retro matte, so it's like an even matter matte. They have so many different formulas. And I have really, really enjoyed every single formula that I've tried. But today we're talking about the nude lipsticks. Most of the nudes I've chosen have like a bit more of a pinky tone because I find that I generally throw, like my lips generally throw a bit of orange. So yeah, I, I like to have a little bit more pink that way when it sets down and dries, it's just a bit more flattering on my coloring and complexion and everything. So let's talk about the one that's already on my lips. This is Modesty. It is a cream sheen finish. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I was really lucky. I got to go to one of the MAC counters and I had one of the girls, you know, match up a nice nude lip for me. So I told her some of my other favorites, which I'll talk about in a second. And you know, some of them I like to mix and everything. So she was like, oh, this one's nice and in between, this, this and that. So um, yeah, I actually really, really like it. So this is the newest one to my collection and it is such a gorgeous wearable shade for me. I feel like I don't wear makeup every day. But if I did wear makeup every single day, it would definitely be this kind of color. It's a nice rosy color that's not too pink, it's not too peach, it's not too warm, not too cool. It's really nice and in between. So that's why I find it particularly flattering and I wanted to start with this one. So thank you so much to the girls at MAC who helped me find this gorgeous little color. It is stunning. I didn't think that, you know, I really needed that many more nudes, but this is so next we have Faux, which is very, very similar to the shade that I just showed you, Modesty. And this is one of the ones that I was telling the girls that I really, really love. So this one is a satin formula, whereas the previous one was a cream sheen formula. So this is, a satin's kind of almost matte. Like it's a bit more kind of comfortable than a matte. Um, so it's not as glossy. The shades are like both on my wrist, super, super, super similar. This one is a little bit more browny kind of, and that's just because it doesn't catch the light as much. So the reason I love this shade so much is because it's really similar to what Velvet Teddy looks like on those skin tones that are a bit deeper than me. When we think back a couple years when Kylie Jenner was wearing Velvet Teddy all of the time and it just looked beautiful on her, this is kind of that color for me. So my skin tone is obviously not as you know, exotic as hers. So that's why I really, really like this one. If you just compare them, see this is Velvet Teddy. It's a little bit, uh, a smidge darker, but it's more so orangey. And whereas this is the one I'm wearing now, which is a little bit more pinky. So that's why I kind of like it. I do like Velvet Teddy when I go up to that more like NC3035 real deep fake tan, uh, but for me, this is kind of that equivalent. I find it can be a little bit hard because you know, you see a lipstick on someone and you think that is amazing, and you try it on yourself, and it might not be bad, but it's just not what it looks like on them. So that's why I really like this one. Honestly, you probably don't need modesty and faux, it just depends on your preference. If you like it to be a little bit more creamy, a little bit more glossy, then definitely go modesty. Um, if you want it to be a little bit closer to matte, but still really nice and comfortable then I would go for faux. Here we have obviously a bit more of a true nude shade. This is Blankety. It is an amplified formula so it is really nice and kind of glossy. I honestly could not tell you the difference between like amplified and cream sheen. To me they feel really really similar. Um, I think maybe if anything amplified has like a little bit more pigmentation. Some of the cream sheen formulas are a little bit more sheer. So I think that might be it, but they're both like really nice and glossy and everything. If you mix kind of blankety and faux together, that's really similar to modesty. So that's the two that I was like really saying I really like these. And that's why um, the girls at MAC decided that modesty would be a good shade for me. You can see it's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit, uh, 
I want to say a little bit more like peachy but it's not peachy like it is still quite neutral on my skin tone definitely if you put this on someone a bit fairer or a bit more cool tone than me you know it would look very different but if you have this kind of like more uh, warm but still fair kind of medium light kind of tone the NC 2025 then yeah this is kind of what it's going to look like so this is definitely more of your true and nude personally I probably pair this one with some kind of lip pencil or something just to give it a little bit more definition but you totally don't have to so far I haven't put a lip pencil on with any of these shades and I think they all look pretty good I hope you guys would agree. Please let me know if I'm wrong and I'm a bit delusional. So this one is Pure Zen. It is a cream sheen formula. It is a little less pigmented than the previous one. So that's where I think, you know, cream sheen is like nice and creamy and glossy, but like a little bit more sheer. I personally find that those sheer lipsticks are a little bit more wearable if you're not too sure because it lets a smidge of your natural lip coloring show through. As you can see, this one is definitely more peachy than the last. It definitely doesn't look too orange though. That is something that just does not flatter my teeth. It makes them look so yellow as if a lipstick is too, too warm. So this is as warm as I would go. I personally wear this one with a lip pencil, but I wanted to show you how they look all on their own. This one definitely does not go with my makeup at the moment. As you can see, my eyes are definitely more cool tone than what I would normally go for. This is the kind of color that I would wear with, you know, like just a bronze smoky eye, just bronzer all over the eye in general, uh, but definitely those more warm tones and when I want the eyes to be the feature, but I still want something nice on the lips. That is definitely this. This is definitely the most different out of all of the shades that I've showed you so far. Lastly, we have one of the MAC Viva Glam lipsticks. And if you guys didn't know, MAC partner with different celebrities and they come out with the Viva Glam lipsticks and a certain percentage goes to charity, which is really nice. You know, they're such a big company, they don't have to do that. People are gonna buy the lipsticks anyway, but it is a really nice cause. So this one here is Viva Glam 2. It is a satin finish. It is on the same kind of spectrum as the shades that I have shown you, but this is definitely the most cool tone shade. I personally wear this as well when I don't have any fake tan on and that would make me uh, NC 15 to 10 if that was a shade so really 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 fair and it still looks really nice because it is that more cool tone I find that the lighter I am the more cool tone I need something to be just to kind of balance out I don't know it, it, warmth does not look good on my lips when I'm not tan at all. So you can see it is a really nice cool tone nude. So it is nice and neutral. Depending on your skin tone, it might look a little warmer, cooler, whatever, but it is nice and in between. All of the shades I have shown today are really, really nice. So it should give you a really good starting point when you are going in and trying to figure out what one that you want to pick up for yourself. By no means do I think everyone needs all of them. As I said, I'm just a makeup hoarder, lipstick junkie. I just wanted to help you guys out so that you could see the difference between the shades on the same person. Whereas normally when you see the swatches, they're on, you know, all different skin tones. So it's a bit hard to tell how it's actually gonna look. So you can see, you know, maybe you've tried one of these shades, but it's a little bit too mauve, a little bit too warm. And then I've showed you a different shade and it's a little bit different. You might be able to kind of uh, tell a little bit more easily there. Now, now, none of the shades that I've talked about have been matte. I do have some matte lipsticks from MAC and they are really nice. Velvet Teddy is a matte. I have the Nakia Joy lipstick, which is a matte. I didn't include that one here today, along with the Samantha Ravindel lipsticks because they are limited edition. So I want this video to be up and help you guys for as long as possible. And I don't want you guys to be annoyed if one of your favorite colors is one of the ones that you can't actually get. So many people really like those lipsticks. So hopefully MAC might bring them out. I think that would be awesome. Just saying, or they could, you know, make a nude lipstick with me. That would also be nice. Thank you so much for supporting my content. It really helps me know what you guys like and don't like seeing. We just hit 10,000 in our little family here, which is so amazing. We also hit 20,000 over on Instagram. So that is just awesome. You guys are the best. Please feel free to share all of my videos, anything like that. Tag your friends in different posts help grow our little family. It would mean so much to me. Anyway, thank you so much for taking the time to have a little chat with me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also, let me know your favorites down below because I'm always up for trying new colors, new shades, everything like that. Even if they're not nudes and you think that I would love it, let me know down below.